right. These guys have uh, done pretty much everything together throughout the career. We thought we'd bring them in together tonight. Samaji Grant and Nate Phillips. Go ahead and uh, address your questions to these guys. Samaji, what was your mindset going into this game tonight, you personally? Uh, truthfully, I kept telling myself, I was like, if I go out there and play tonight and not think about getting hurt or anything, just go out there and play my game, I just thought that maybe I'd be able to contribute to the team, and that's what I did. I didn't, I didn't once think about anybody hitting my ankles, twisting my legs, and then I just wanted to play. And I actually sprained my hamstring, and I just kept playing. Smudge, you got some pretty, pretty passionate comments early in the week about kind of the state of the program and guys you didn't feel really loved football. Was it better throughout the week and throughout the game today? Definitely. And that's, that's what I mean by, I mean, obviously I know all my teammates love the game, but you can't just get this mindset when we play ASU. If we played like that the whole season, we would have won one more, way more games. But, I mean, I definitely feel like today and the whole week of practice, everybody showed that they, they love football this week. And even before the game, the younger dudes hyping up the older dudes. And it was just a great environment for everybody. Nate, was there a feeling that chunk plays were going to be readily available as, as much as they were? I mean, it seemed like if you watched their last few games, they had given up a lot of big plays both in the pass and in the run game. Yeah, I think as, as the receiver group, we were thinking they were going to come more through the air. And, you know, I had the one touchdown, but I probably ran 300 yards like Samaja did, chasing after them to get <laughs> up and down the field. But. Yeah, I mean, I guess it wasn't a surprise that, you know, we did what we did because I, mean, I know we have capable players, but I guess the way, you know, that we actually played the game and, and ran the ball like we did, I think that was a surprise. So you guys obviously didn't have the season that you wanted to have this year, but you could go out uh, on a high note winning this game. What are you going to take out of this experience of 2016? This cut with us right here. That's <laughs> what we're going to take with us. Um, I'm just grateful. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like you said, this, this year hasn't been what we thought it was, but I wouldn't want to have spent it with any other guys. You know, I've been with him for four years now, every game. Um, you know, when, when you when you find someone like that, I mean, we're complete opposites and complement each other at the same time. So, you know, that that's the part that I'm going to take away is these relationships and, you know, all these brothers that I have that are downstairs with us and on that field. Um, beating ASU last game, senior night, can't beat it. Nate, you guys, are, you guys are obviously close. What was it like for the last few weeks where Samaji had switched positions and was kind of learning, relearning it, running back and anything like that? Oh, we didn't even talk. I thought they were going to give me a new roommate because he's a running back now. He doesn't text me, nothing. <laughs> oh, you were just talking uh, Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, it was different not having him in there. But at the same time, at practice, we're always right next to each other. We still room together on the road, uh, still sitting next to each other on the planes. Um, I don't know. It, it, I guess it was fun for me to see him be in a, in a different position uh, and just and still see him, you know, be the player that he is. And even though for three and a half years he never played it and then goes back there and does this on senior night, yeah, that just tells you what kind of player Samaja is. Samaja, does it go without saying that this was the offensive line's best performance of the season tonight? I mean, I wouldn't say that they don't, they don't do well. I mean, I can blame a lot on myself because I never uh, stuck my foot in the ground and, and got up the field as I should have, but tonight, they, they, I mean, tonight, they block like I had never even seen before. And tonight it was physical, driving their feet, and they did everything the way we practiced it. So, they, I mean, I definitely think that uh, they did an amazing job, and I wouldn't have obviously done anything without them. Nate, Coach, for the last few weeks has talked about how good things are coming for this program. As a player, how do you see it, and why do you think that the ship is going to be back on the uptick here in the next few years? Because of games like this, we can lose eight straight and lose our opener and only win two games to the first 11 and then come out here and we have a dominating performance like that. That's a, that's a, a test to you know, the people that we have in the locker room, the coaches that we have. Um, we go out there, we put together a complete game, we can play with anybody. And I think that that's one of the biggest things is you know we lost eight straight games and most people thought we were going to throw in the towel. And especially tonight against them, there's no way that was going to happen. But, you know, all throughout the year, we never quit either. So even, even losing, you can still see our guys out there fighting. And that's the kind of team that Coach Rob puts together. Does it mean anything for both of you not to have that onus on your back that you, would, you could have been the only Wildcat team not to win a game in the Pac-10, Pac-12 era in conference? To have, to have that off your back, is there, is there any meaning to that at all? No, not at all. I didn't think about it at all. Yeah, I ain't. Truthfully, I ain't even know that. <laughs> 
it mean to you guys to know that they're not going to go to a bowl game now? <laughs> uh, that's pretty sweet, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of evil to say that, but I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm not. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm definitely happy. They can't, you know, they can't come back talking about what they did and where exactly. they went, the gifts they got. So we can all watch the bowl games together. Cause we'll be <laughs> home. So I mean, we can talk about it then. Yeah. Couple more questions for these two. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs>